This is Steve from Beto's Leatherworks, and today's project is the Supreme Varsity Jacket. Now, this is a $400 job, to let you guys know from the start, because a lot of people are asking how much did it cost. They didn't want to hear the price at the end of the video, so I figured I'd say it in the beginning. So basically what we're going to do, um, as you guys can see, the, the material on the shoulders that are just deteriorating, falling apart. Now this is about 15, 16 year old jacket and um, eventually this uh, vinyl sleeves, they just started giving away and literally just deteriorating. So what we're going to do, we're going to remove them, take the patches off, um, make a pattern and then cut it out of leather, stitch it, put the patches on and put it back on a jacket. So um, this will be a lot more durable than what it is right now. It should last a lot longer if you take care of it a little bit. Now on the sleeve here, we there's some embroidery writing there. It's F U pay me. We decided to eliminate that, not not to duplicate it. Now some people will say, well, that's not original. You know what? Doesn't matter. That's what the customer wants. That's what the customer is going to get. Okay, so let's get started. So I figured I'd stay up front today. I'm moving some things around in the back, and there's not really really upside down and so I figured it'd be a change of pace right now just to stay in the front. So I know this isn't a shoe video but I do a lot of leather jackets. I don't record the jackets that much. I don't know why. Maybe I should start doing that. Let me know what you guys think if I should if I should do stuff like that. The problem is that with jackets it's like you know, zipper changing here, you know, tear here, tear there. So it's not really that exciting, you know what I mean? Although I do have one that got burned on the pocket area here. I think that would make it a good video, but we, sh we have to kind of agree on the price and on the leather and stuff like that before we go ahead. It's, we haven't got the okay on that yet. Something like that would be cool. But just replacing like a zipper, it's not a big deal, you know? Maybe a full lining replacement. That would be kind of cool. This thing is just literally falling apart in my hands. Now what I could do, well, I was going to say I was going to clean this before. Maybe I could turn this around so the inside is still dirty a little bit. Maybe I'll clean it before I put it back together. Man, what a mess. Once you take the cuff off, just kind of pull that lining out of the way because nothing is stitched on the lining itself. All the patches are just on the piece of material on the exterior. want to keep that piece intact so I can make a pattern out of it. It's not a big deal. This is a not very complicated job. I always tell people, you know, when they're, when they're like trying to learn, just follow what's there. Follow the pattern that, you know, when you take it apart, for example, Make sure you see, you know, you, you have the center seam right there lined up after you get, you have to finish putting it back together. When you're taking something apart, see how it's put together, and just kind of reverse engineer it or reverse when you put it back together. It just takes a matter of practice. <coughs> and you do a few of them after a while, it becomes. I mean, it becomes pretty normal. Now, my dad never, he didn't do stuff like this. It was, I just kind of picked it up along the way. I'm not a, I'm not a tailor by, by any means, but 
I have the fundamental skills of a tailor. I didn't really study under a tailor, but again, I've been doing it for so long that that you kind of get the understanding of how things are put together, how things are made. But that being a tailor is is all is a whole different world in itself. Those those guys are those guys are real craftsmen. And there she goes. That's a sleeve. Okay. Now the sleeve is in three parts. That's one panel. That's two panel. And the larger panel that goes all the way around. We, again, we'll continue taking that apart, making a duplicate pattern of the leather, and then we'll see if we can stitch it back together. All right. Let's continue. Leather right here. It's a little brighter than what he had. But it'll work fine. Now anytime you're cutting pieces from leather, you got to make sure that there's no scars on there. It's going to happen. Sometimes, like for example here, I don't know if you guys can see that. Well, that that's obviously something happened to the skin along the way. And the manufacturers, sometimes what they'll do is they'll try to They'll try to sand that and cover it up as best as possible. Maybe not sand it, but anyway, just fix the fix the surface of the leather so it looks better. Just kind of have to move, you know, move move around the pattern of what you're cutting. Just kind of kind of keep your eyes open, make sure that. It's not too bad. Now what we're going to do now, we're going to cut six pieces, three for each sleeve. So what we'll do is we'll just basically take this piece here and cut, a, cut one out and then turn it over and cut another piece. Because you don't want to cut two pieces like this and cut all the pieces like that because you're going to have, for example, two left sleeves or two right sleeves. So you just kind of, you know, turn that over and that's your other pattern. I need my, one of my weights that I usually put on top. It's in the back. I don't feel like getting it right now. Make sure that the piece doesn't get moved around too much. All right. It's two down and four to go. Had these made right. many, many years ago for a specific foot on a Samsonite suitcase where the rivets were recessed into the foot. So had these made, so when we were putting the feet on, we would put the rivets in the foot, plastic foot, and, and put the plastic foot on top of here, put the suitcase, and then hammer it down. Because there's no way you could get to the rivets from underneath because they were recessed about half an inch. But now I don't do suitcase repair anymore. I just have them as my weights just to kind of keep things in place as I'm stitching things up or gluing things, whatever, whatever the case may be. It works out pretty good. This is the perfect areas of the scar, the branding. See that? Now some some companies, some farms, they don't brand their cows anymore. What they'll do is they'll tag them on the ear for this reason right here so it doesn't harm the hide because, you know, 
years and years ago, right in the hind quarters right here, they would put a big brand. Well, that kind of killed the best part of the hide. So eventually, they got smart and um, they started tagging the ears. Plus, it doesn't hurt the animals, you know? You don't want to burn the animals' butts. Not cool. Now, and some farms, um, what they'll do is um, they don't have any barbed wires for fencing. They'll have rubber rubber strips. <sighs> Man, this is a mess. And um, so their skins don't get damaged. I know some people are saying poor cows. That's a byproduct, don't forget. Which means that it wasn't slaughtered just for the skin. A lot of people get fed on that meat. All right, as you guys can see, it's coming along pretty good. Again, I didn't feel like working in the back. It's kind of a change of pace for me here, you know. Besides, I don't want to hear anybody say, Hey, man, clean up your workbench. That looks messy. Well, yeah, it looks messy because it's working for crying out loud. That's what happens when you work. I do like 20 things at a time at times, and I don't get a chance to put things back at the time that I use it. Although I should, because if I can't find something, then I get mad at myself where I put it. All right, let's continue. So we are continually stitching the pieces on. Oh, by the way, this is my Adler 373 tabletop, is what it's called. Now, I've had this for probably 18 years now, and it was probably another 10 years when I got it, 10 years old, I should say. It's a workhorse. to run out of bobbin thread, I can tell. Alright, this piece is going to be stuck. 
stitched on the large piece. Let's get these out of the way. Beautiful. Sure, why not? Okay. It's coffee time. <laughs> no, not hammer time. Coffee time. Sometimes you gotta take a break, you know? So when I come back, okay, and you see my hand shaking, now you know why my hand shake. <laughs> Oh Lord. Oh, just knocked the phone. Alright, so we got the two sleeves finished now. A little bit touching up here and there to do. Alright, now we are stitching the sleeve on to the body of the jacket. sure everything is lined up our first indicator is the seam right underneath the armpit if that lines up with the leather then everything else should fall into place
Then we're going to come back and put a top stitch on here, stitch the cuff, attach the lining inside, close the lining, and we're done. All right, let's continue. All right, so we are on the post machine. We're going to stitch the shoulders now. Basically, we've got the lining open. This is how we access through the lining. Obviously, you're not going to stitch the lining to the body of the jacket. So just well, there, this this is the Yamada Post Machine FY810. People ask me about my machines all the time, so this is what it is. It's called the Post Machine because it's got this post right here. Okay, it's not a flat tabletop like the other Adler I was using, which we're going to go back to do the cuffs. This is a lot easier because you can kind of slide the item over. You can get to the area that you want to stitch. So got to make sure that you don't stitch the lining, which is very easy to do. Then you got to take it apart and do it over again, so make sure we miss that. Call came in and uh, I had to shut off the video. matter of putting a top stitch so I was going to use the flatbed for the cuffs but you know what since I'm here might as well use this one that's okay that'll be all right so basically we just line up everything together the elastic the lining and the red sleeve make sure they're all lined up and start stitching there's a seam on the cuff where it's in, it's right here by the wrist. So make sure that seam is the same as the, the red leather seam. So it'll kind of, that's kind of center. And she is almost done. She's got a lot of little like stitches here and there to clean up. And, um, and the, the felt, well, the, the fabric body of the jacket needs to be brushed up a little bit. We'll do that too. Close the lining. And she'll be ready to roll. So I just talked to the customer. He's going to come in and we're going to get his reaction. You guys, you guys always ask for the customer's reaction. Well, I'm going to give it to you. So I'll have that, I'll have that at the end of the video. So you just pull the, pull the leather and the elastic as you stitch it. Now the lining is a little bit wider than the the leather sleeve and the elastic so you're just gonna have to as you're stitching you just kinda have to tuck the lining give it like little pleats and stuff not too much but just a little bit everything is good now sometimes even the cuffs have a top stitch on them at the edge. This one did not. Some of the flight jackets will have that. And usually we try to duplicate whatever, whatever it was. So we'll leave this one alone. That's the seam I was talking about. There's it's the cuff seam right there. And then the jacket seam, make sure they're all lined up. Then you've got also the armpit seam that's lined up also so just a couple of little details here and there once you once you get everything in order like that things kind of will fall into place you know so we're almost done we're going to close the lining we're going to attach there's a certain spots right here on the armpit and on the top 
area, the lining is stitched to the jacket, so when you're taking your sleeve off, the sleeve, the, the lining doesn't get pulled out at the same time. We'll go ahead and stitch those two, and then cleaned up, we'll be ready to go. All right, let's continue. Okay, now don't forget, people always ask me about if I do mail-in orders. Yes, I do. Um, and they want some information on the, my company and, you know, phone number, email address and all that stuff. So when you're on the main page right here, Beto's Leatherworks, go to About. And right here, all my information is there. Company name, address, phone number, Instagram ID. Facebook. Now, if you if you want to send me an email, it's at bedos at yahoo.com. If you have any questions regarding to any type of a job, please do so. And uh, if you're going to mail something in, there's a shipping form right here. You click onto that. Okay. And basically just fill this out and send it with your item. And I'll keep in touch with you as soon as I receive it. All right, okay, take so welcome care. back. So every time I do a project with you guys, you always say, well, what was your reaction of the customer? So we've got the customer here today. All right. Welcome back. Hey, how are you? How are you? All right. So we're going to try the jacket on. Go ahead and take that jacket off. Yes, okay. sir. Caleb, bring the jacket, please. This is Remy, by the way. Hello. Hello. There we go. Oof. Yes, sir. All right. Try it on. Thank you. Thank you. There's a mirror right there for you to check it out. Feels great already. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Big difference from what it was when yeah. it is. I mean the sleeves were completely falling apart. Oh yeah. And uh, now I have a wearable jacket. This should last for many years to come. Right, tell. good leather yeah. too. Yeah man. I have um, zero complaints. Uh, <laughs> to work is immaculate seams and creases and stitching and all that got my patches back on there yes sir and i cleaned it up a little bit too so now I, it's presentable i greatly appreciate it cool. it looks amazing all seriously right, cool. i appreciate it thank you remy yeah man thank you it. all right guys so thanks for joining me again for another video and um we'll see you again on the next one please subscribe hit the like button thumbs up and all that so we'll see you again take care